Hello ladies and gentlemen, Holotide here, and today I want to talk about what Halo can take away from Helldivers 2. Yes, the super successful, that's all anybody's talking about or playing. Helldivers 2 this, Helldivers 2 that, why don't you Helldivers your... Anyways, but I think that there's a reason why Helldivers 2 is so popular right now. And it's because it's basically bucked the trends of what gaming has been over the past decade. We have a few other games that come to my mind when I think of like top-notch video games in the last like decade. Elden Ring absolutely comes to mind. But Helldivers is special in the sense that it's a multiplayer game. Now back in the day, we all knew that Halo was a top-notch game, franchise, series, whatever you want to say, and it was setting the standard for what games should be. Recently, it hasn't so much been that way with Halo, but I'm of the mind that you can always improve and take what other people are doing that's successful and make it your own. While these games are unique in their own sense, I think that there are valuable lessons that Halo can take away. But before we get into the rest of the video, I just want to say thank you for all the support recently. You all have been absolutely killing it. It's hard out here on Halo YouTube. I will not lie. So if you enjoy this video, if you agree with anything, make sure you leave a like. If you're new to the channel and you enjoy Halo content, I could be your third favorite Halo YouTuber. I'm currently grinding away towards 15,000 subs and I would greatly appreciate it. Let's get back into the video. So one of the things that I really like about Helldivers 2 is that Yes, you get into a mission with an objective, but it's a dynamic mission structure. It can adjust based on player actions and choices and provides a fresh gaming experience with each time you load up a level. Now, Halo Infinite did try to do this open world, less linear type of gameplay. And while I do think that it could have worked, I think that something like this might be better for Halo. Having dynamic choices and changes to the world it'd be a little hard to do i guess lore wise like it can't be that crazy especially in terms of the single player side but for me this is what firefight should turn into we have firefight in halo infinite but it doesn't feel like a evolution of what that game mode is now we all know that halo used to set that kind of evolution back in the day and i think that now they need to do the same we've had the same firefight it needs to be improved you know, Hell Divers has like a bajillion bugs running around and, you know, in Firefight on Halo Infinite. I think that I read somewhere that there can only be like 25 enemies on screen at once or some crazy thing like that. I want to feel overwhelmed. And I think the map should be big enough now to where you're like going from objective to objective or taking out a boss and stuff like that. I think that that, that fits Halo so well. Just imagine a Halo game where the outcome of each mission impacts that narrative and we've kind of seen it with multiplayer there was like a multiplayer story narrative thing and it's your spartan stuff so i think that this is the next evolution of what firefight could be i'd love to see something like it in the single player side of stuff but i don't know if they can actually commit to something like that another thing that i think that halo could take from it is like this is a 40 dollars game there's no super predatory microtransactions in it yeah you can buy like credits i think or super credits or whatever they're called but like you can find those credits out in the world you can you know get them in the battle pass there's a free battle pass you can get enough credits to buy the paid battle pass allegedly everything is going to be free like update wise like they're going to add mechs and all this new weapons as the world evolves and new planets are added like all of that is supposedly going to be free i think halo does a i'm going to go ahead and say a decent job i think that it's gotten less with uh how they've quit doing seasons and you can't really get like the credits in the battle pass as much now or at all i actually don't know if you can get them at all but halo kind of started the thing where it's like oh the battle pass never expires and that was a breath of fresh air but i think with halo you have a reputation that's you know even though it's been kind of tarnished recently i think that if halo does things like this it's such a good pr move like the store in hell divers is not it does not encroach on anything it's not like pay to win or anything like that and with how the shop has evolved with halo infinite and you know most of the armor is in there we just had the spirit of fire season and like all the good armor is in the shop now i know you got to make money and halo infinite is a free-to-play game but like i wonder what the statistics or whatever the analytics are you know for a game like helldivers 2 that costs 40 dollars 
you know, if people are spending more money because it's cheaper and they are having fun and it's enjoyable and they're not feeling like they're being preyed upon with microtransactions and things like that, like I think people will spend money, especially if it's good. And finally, I think the last thing that Halo could learn from Helldivers 2 is just having a real plan of action and sticking to it and not constantly changing what the game is in the development cycle. We've all heard the rumors of how awful the development of Halo Infinite was and how things changed, how it was like a hero shooter and all this other stuff. And I think having a unifying vision of what the next game is, is super important. Now, whether that's a full-fledged, you know, Halo campaign game, or maybe we get one of those spinoff games that's 40 bucks like Helldivers and it's the Flood Horror game. I think that we finally have leadership in place at 343 that understand Halo, understand what the community wants, and I'm excited for whatever comes next. But that's going to do it for the video, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like down below. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, and I will catch you around the ring. Peace!